battles for the top spot in the Metro. It's a three-point lead over Detroit and Pittsburgh in a wild card race. All games are even. Pajot muscles after the front off of Montembeau. Stayed with it. Pajot to Riley. Riley to Ajo. Wrist shot in on goal. Hung on to by Montembeau. The Islanders wanted or practiced. Look here. out here. A breakaway for Suzuki. Barlamov kept it out. And Nelson clears it away. Suzuki, I think he got a piece of the puck. That's the Islanders. They, uh, Pellick just can't trap it and... Watch the moves. He makes a couple of really good moves, and then there's the stick right there. Comes out, knows he's beat with the pads, and then just gets the stick out. What a great save that was by Barlamov. That would have changed the game, right? Poke checked at the line. But Barlamov, that's his first save of the hockey game, and he stops Suzuki on a breakaway. Now it's Suzuki from the circles with a pass to Caulfield. Fires! The rebound was there. It's like through some stick work. Put it in and go get it. Gets there with Matheson, separates him from the puck, centering feet, Sasek is the back end, knocked around in front of the net, and it's cleared away from danger. Puck in a dangerous spot, Montembeau, and his friend's able to keep it out. Anderson flips it up and out, Romanov got a stick chick there on Tanner Pearson, who was coming in hot. Pearson just wrapped up to Ajo and twisted him down to the ice. Wes McCauley right there, play on, here's Matheson with a shot, knocked down in front of the net. Montreal snapped a three-game losing streak with a 9-3 win on Tuesday against Philadelphia as Montembeau grabs that one. Off the draw, everybody bunches up. It's Engvall to Riley. Riley to Romanov. Romanov a shot and a save from Montembeau. Yeah. Well, backspin on that. Lofting pass. Horvat tied it up so Sezikis could get there. Sezikis punched it along for Barzell. Barzell for Ryan Pollock. He has some space. Drags to the middle. Snaps a shot. No rebound for Montembeau. Sebastian Ajo's been scratched for really nine of the last ten games. Here's a steal in front, and Sezikis can't get it. Try from Horvat. Too much traffic in the crease. Coming Suzuki's way, and Pollock without a stick able to get down and block it. Suzuki down to the goal line, Slavkovsky in a sliding poke check that time from Riley. Suzuki for Caulfield. Caulfield the shot from Harris and they score. Slavkovsky parked in front, may have tipped that one down by Varlamov. And it's a 1 0 Montreal lead late in the first. Soft touch on it, gets it into the zone as we hit a minute to go in the period. It's Newhook hurrying it ahead. Center ice, Newhook makes the pass open in front, Armia denied. Barlamov reaches out with the glove and a big time stop in the final minute. That would have been disastrous for the Islanders and not sure how you give up a three on two in the last minute of a period. Your third man got to be in position. You can't be guessing and man alive what a save this is. As Barley just never bit at any point in time. He just held his position, showed great patience. And then... It's three hits so far in the period and the dying seconds are on now as Ryan Pollock brings it around the net. Pollock sat Save Montembeau point blank on Matt Martin. Five seconds to go. What an opportunity right at the end of the period. A pass out in front. Matty gets it off the heel of his stick. And as I've said many times, it's tough just to score low on the goaltenders. They come across, they cover the whole bottom of the net, Brendan. But just the same, it's a good opportunity. But not a good period. The five guys, uh, you just got to be cognizant. They need to change a little bit quicker, Brendan. So the forwards have to be aware of that. Ryan Pollock played almost nine and a half minutes in that opening period, and he's on the ice to start the second. As Savard with a shot that's blocked by Sezikis. Same five that started the first period for the Islanders. That's Horvath, Barzell, and Sezikis with Pellick and Pollock on the ice to start period two. That one gloved down by Sezikis. Carried it over the line. Got the pass for Barzell. Made the move, but Montembeau made the save. Made by Ryan Pollock. Pollock carrying over the line. Pollock on the backhand for Barzell to the trailing. Horvat hit the crossbar. Jumps out of play. The stick really? extended and the Islanders are able to get up on the play. There it is, the gap control. Get the feet moving. Ryan skating extremely well. And then a good pass to Barzell. Barzell sees Horvat coming down low there right off the crossbar. Trimmed it around towards Nelson. Nelson to the top. Riley shot. Sails past the net. Pellick coming in. Took a funny hop on him. Couldn't shoot it right away. Now it's Engvall in the slot, scores! Oh, what a shot that was from Pierre Engvall to tie the score at one.
Riley just gets that puck into the corner. But talking about the puck retrieval, yes, Adam didn't have a hold of it. And then Engvall gets those feet over, cross over, square it up. Gets those shoulders pointing towards the net, Brendan, and you can get a pretty good shot away. That's a huge goal for the Islanders. What a release from Pierre Engvall. Pass ahead for Engvall. Pajot challenges him here, and the gloves are off. Pajot getting Brendan Gallagher. This stems from a hit Gallagher threw on Adam Pellick in their last meeting. And Pajot was the one who squares up with Gallagher here. With some fury as well. Got the helmet off, but then lost his balance. Pajot actually close to taking a penalty there, and now they're talking to one another, and away they go. And a lot of anger right there with Pajot. And Gallagher has fought on several occasions before, so he's not a first-time fighter. You called it, Brendan. That thing just wouldn't cooperate with him on, on his one-handed, on his backhand. He couldn't settle it down fully. What a play by Martin. Nelson and Engvall. His shot safe. Rebound! Montembeau denies Engvall on the doorstep. In this hockey game, Nelson, the shot, the rebound for Engvall, denied by Montembeau. So really another strong period so far for the Islanders in terms of not letting Montreal get some sustained pressure. Just seven shots in the game. Here comes Engvall! Save Montembeau! Said he'd get more opportunities and he just recognizes the play. Plenty of time to get the puck, tries to go five. Both goals at even strength. This will be a minute and 50 seconds of power play time. Michael Pozzetta called for boarding against Adam Pellick to really to end the second period. Look out. Off a skate. Here come the halves. Three on one if they push it. Josh Anderson to the net. Save for Lomov. Rebound pulled free. It's Nelson who will grab it and get it away from the net and get it out of the zone. One, one in the third period. Another on man rush for Montreal. And O'Reilly plays it perfect, says, Varley, you got Anderson, and that he does. He makes a good save, goes down, wait for the shot. Anderson tries to beat him low. Varley says, no thanks, I've got it. And then the rebound, everybody climbs up. Good short little passes there to have a quick exit for the Canadians. This shot blocked by Martin. He goes down, hasn't gotten up yet. Meanwhile, the pass from Matheson across, that one back door. And the shot from Caulfield. Varlamov looks behind him, but it's in the net. It's a goal for Montreal. They take a 2-1 lead. That was a tough break. As he threw his pads and then into the net. Well, he's got good position, and he, he makes the original save. And now just carrying right on through yeah. off the inside of the left leg. Yep. Goes right, squeezes. Yeah, he couldn't squeeze it. Caulfield just gets it on net. Nobody knows it's in the net, but as it goes right, it goes five hole and right back in through. And Horvath to the front, and it was grabbed by Suzuki. Then Pollock let it fly, hammered it wide. Pellick. Now Pollock in front. Pellick, the backhand just missed. Suzuki is on a wraparound score. Casey Suzuki ties it in the third. As soon as Adam Pellet gave that to Horvat, watch him go to the net. Second great look that he's had in case he's stuck with this one all the way. What a game he's had tonight. So impressive, but what a big goal. The timing of it, you're not sitting and waiting for that goal in the final minutes of the game. You get it back right away. Paul Murray hangs onto it in the corner, and the Islanders with a goal in the third period from Casey Sezik is forced overtime. And Both teams are basically... Now they got a checking center out there in 28, so and Matheson, who is a very, very good offensive player. Montreal got the puck first. Got to bail, bail him out a little bit. Go back towards Ryan Pollock, not let him get caught by himself. Four minutes to go in overtime. It's Nelson. It's Nelson with a shot that's blocked. Last overtime game for the Islanders. 4-3 win in Philadelphia with these two guys combining for the winner. Paul Mary setting up Nelson. Nelson dangles the puck, slides it for Paul Murray. Go he scores! Kyle Paul Murray! The Islanders win it in overtime! Paul Murray goes short side high, up into the toy department, right there, bang, and you can see that the goaltender, Montebaum, wasn't square to the shooter. He was a little bit away from the post. And Paul Murray 
Shot it like it was a dart at the middle target. Look at it. He takes a little look and says, I got this.